Well, hi there, everybody, and good Monday morning to you all. Just Travis Klineski here as we start off on your Monday morning. We have a number of scattered showers in the uh, areas west of the Tri-Cities this morning, places like North Platte to McCook, seeing some scattered showers. Not much thunder at this time. Forecast models are kind of trending this towards just really weakening and falling apart in the coming hours ahead here. I'm going to take this through very slowly and show you what we're talking about here. Now, I did include a 20% chance of rain and isolated thunder for the Tri-Cities today. And I'm taking this back in time, but the chances are slim. But one thing we are seeing out there this morning is quite a bit of cloud cover, mostly cloudy skies in the area. Now, as we go, continue to go through the afternoon hours, we may see a little more clearing take place. It's going to be rather warm today. And again, if we can get some sunshine, that would certainly bring those temperatures up a bit. So a lot of mid and upper 80s, some lower 90s expected for today. The other thing I want to turn your attention to is the activity off to the uh, northeast here try to circle that here it's kind of hard to see with that gray line here uh, I need to change the color of that line but anyway you see that activity Iowa and Minnesota that's gonna that's gonna be a pretty good chance of severe weather there to the east later on today the big question is how far west can we get that to back build into Nebraska some models hint at it others do not I'm gonna delete that line here and kind of take you slowly through the e into the evening as you'll see here you see some forecast models there hinting at some storms kind of firing up there off to the uh, north uh, as we get into the evening hours, but then kind of falling apart as they push southeastward. This is probably our best chance of getting some severe weather today and tonight if we do see these materialize, but the big question is, are they going to or not? I'm not very confident in holding together real well. I'm kind of in favor of this model right here. Now later into the night, we'll still keep a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms in the forecast. If something happens, maybe some severe weather. It's not a great chance, but by tomorrow morning, much of that clears out of here. We'll see partly to mostly sunny skies and a pretty dry day for most of your Tuesday. But by Tuesday night, another round of rain and thunderstorms will be a possibility. So something we're going to have to watch for during the late night hours and too early on Wednesday morning. We could do it all over again with more chances of rain and thunderstorms later on Wednesday and into Wednesday night. So first off, and this is the graphic, if you haven't seen this yet, this is the graphic that's going to Get your eyes a little wide open here. Storm Prediction Center has a pretty confident chance of severe weather for much of the area. A slight risk, which, you know, yeah, we see this a lot of times in May and June, but as you get into July and August, you don't see a lot of slight and enhanced risk for our area. That said, this is not a big tornado threat. They're, they're, the tornado threat is pretty small. But right now, in my thinking, as you look at that enhanced risk, that orange shade area, I think your better chance is going to be east of the Missouri River, Iowa, Minnesota. I think the chances are a little smaller west of the Missouri River in eastern Nebraska, places like Albion, Ainsworth, excuse me, Albion, O'Neill, Norfolk, Columbus, Fremont. I still think there is a chance, just not as great of a chance as what you would see farther east. But even farther west, you have a slight risk out for almost the entire viewing area. So uh, models, or at least the Storm Prediction Center is thinking hey, there's going to be some fear, severe weather even farther west. Now, the next update comes out at 8 o'clock this morning. We'll see if there are some changes. I think there will be. In fact, I would not be surprised if most of us are taken out of that enhanced risk and some places are maybe even taken out of the slight risk. But if severe weather is able to materialize later on today and into this evening, your best bet for severe weather, what type of weather are we talking about? Damage and wind gusts. I think that's the biggest threat out of these storms is if we get a nice little line of storms. All along with that, maybe a little bit of uh, large hail. Could be some heavier rains, but not a big tornado threat. Now jumping ahead to tomorrow night, we talked about that next chance of rain and thunderstorms late tomorrow night after midnight for, for us, probably a Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. A little severe weather, not out of the question. As we push towards Wednesday and into Wednesday night, a cold front coming through could bring in some more isolated severe weather. Once again, winds and hail look to be your biggest threats the next couple of days and nights. All right, on to temperatures, which are going to be warming up into the mid and upper 80s and lower 90s later on today. We'll feel a little bit of heat out there. A lot of this will depend on if we see rain or not. If you get a shower in your area, that's going to hold that temperature back just a little bit. Getting into tonight's 60s for overnight lows, perhaps near 70 in Lincoln and Omaha. And then tomorrow's temperature is similar to today, mid to upper 80s, lower 90s. A little more sunshine during the day than today. And then as we jump ahead to Wednesday, more of the same mid to upper 80s and lower 90s, although a cold front coming through Wednesday night will bring in some cooler weather for the end of the week, Thursday and Friday. All right, looking at your uh, three-day forecast, again, you see the chance of rain and thunderstorms, a 30% chance, and that best chance comes this evening. And then kind of 
goes down a little bit later into the nighttime hours. Most of tomorrow dry, tomorrow evening dry, late night tomorrow night after midnight. Next chance of rain and thunderstorms. We'll keep that chance going Wednesday and Wednesday night. Now, Wednesday night, our best chance comes late night Wednesday night. That's when I bump that chance up to about a 50% chance. Still a chance of rain and thunderstorms during the day on Thursday, and we're going to be on the cooler side Thursday into Friday as well. Now, Friday much of the day is dry because that chance of rain looks to be earlier in the day. Uh, we'll see a high around 80 degrees. Another early chance, late night, early morning chance of rain and thunderstorms late Friday night and early Saturday morning. So will that affect uh, Kool-Aid days? Of course, the parade going on Saturday morning. I'm hopeful that will stay dry for that, uh, the way it looks right now. Uh, it's going to be a little warmer on Saturday, back to the mid-80s. Sunday, rain and thunderstorms are returning to the area. Temperatures will depend on if we see that rain and thunderstorm chance. It's a long ways out yet. More rain may keep us a little cooler, if less a chance of a rain we could be talking about some warmer upper 80s to near 90 once again long range kind of hinting at again after this cool down at the end of the week warming back up but it's not lasting long it looks like maybe another cool down could be coming in by early next week here so with that i'm going to let you all go thank you all for watching on this monday morning continue to watch the forecast monitor it i'll give you some updates from the storm prediction center on what their thinking is with that severe weather threat but like i said as of right now i'm not overly confident that we'll see severe weather later today but storm prediction center they've got a lot of severe weather experts over there they they may know better we'll see but they get it wrong sometimes too so with that, I will continue to update on Facebook and things like that to give you an idea of how things will play, plus our mobile app as well. All right, thank you all for watching today. I appreciate it. I'll see you all again on your Tuesday morning or, for me, my Friday morning. I'm only working two days this week. I'll be off Wednesday through Friday. So, anyway, tomorrow will be my last day of the week. So, thank you all for watching. Talk to you all later. Bye.